Welcome back to my channel. I have to admit, in the last few weeks, I've been a little preoccupied and I haven't done anything on the van, hence why there's been no video for a couple of weeks. Normally, I'm pretty good. I try and get a video out each week and I will keep trying to get a video out each week, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, in the last week, I've ordered so much for the van. I've ordered all the draw runners and the timber to get on with the back of the garage area. Today, I went to Wix and I bought a piece of wood to make my table out of so I can finally get my seating area converted into a, a bed as well. And more importantly, this arrived in the last few days, my uh, projector. So as you probably worked out by the title of this video, we're gonna reinstall the projector. Hopefully, it's as good as uh, the review set is. So we'll talk through exactly what I've bought and why I've bought it, and then we'll get it feared. So the first thing we'll talk about is the projector itself. I can't pronounce this. You try and pronounce this. Yoifi, Yoifi, Yoifi. Don't know. <laughs> but I bought it based on reviews from other van lifers and Google reviews, Amazon reviews, and this one seems to come up top on a lot of the reviews. So let's hope that it is as good as people say it is. Um, all this stuff came from Amazon. The projector screen came from Amazon. The speaker came from Amazon, and the projector itself came from Amazon. So I'll put a link to all of this in the description below so if you want to buy it yourself check it out down below now this obviously came in quite a cool little case we'll, uh, we'll open up so that's the projector itself it's literally the size of a mobile phone this is what i quite liked about it so i'm hoping when it goes up on the ceiling it doesn't don't bang your head on it and doesn't take up a lot of room so it's quite cool there's a couple of reasons i bought this that was one of them the other reason I bought it was obviously the reviews and the quality. And the third reason was because it's USB charging. So it's got a USB charging lead. So I haven't got to rig this up to anything. Haven't got to put a supply to it. Haven't got to do anything like that. I've just got to plug it in and charge it during the day and at night time when I'm in here, I'll plug it in. It's got something like a six, uh, eight or a 12 hour battery life. So it should last for ages. It probably won't last that long, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, it's a nice size, it's compact. Now. As I mentioned just now, I'm gonna put it up on the ceiling. Obviously, we'll get the screen rigged up first and then we'll we'll check the distance, and then we'll mount it where it goes. Hopefully it doesn't hopefully it doesn't go where my bloody skylight is. Now to fix this, I sort of thought about I don't know, all sorts of different ways to get up onto the ceiling. Now it came with a little tripod, so if you want to put it on a table, you can stick on your table and have a projector screen anywhere, or just put it against the wall, which might also work. Actually, that's probably not a bad not a bad option. Hopefully, you can flip this upside down and hopefully you can just flip the screen over, but we'll see. So what I bought was a little suction pad. Again, Amazon, this was like, I don't know how much it was, six or seven quid or something. Oh yeah, this was like 200 and, 211 quid, reduced from 250 or something like that. Anyway, just check it down below, it's there. So I bought this little suction pad so all I thought about doing was, like your sat nav on the dash of your van or your car, comes with this little plate with a 3M sticky pad on it. So all I was going to do was stick this to the ceiling and then just so I can remove it and it doesn't bang, oh to be fair I'm not going to bang head on anyway, but stick that to the ceiling with that and hopefully the projector's got a little screw on the bottom of it, screw it in like that and then sit up on the ceiling. We'll see. So that's all good. The next thing I bought, so I think I mentioned in like the uh, the what we've learned video that I was going to put a sound system in the van, and I've been humming and hawing about different ways of doing that. Do I put another head unit in here? Do I put some speakers in, some tweeters, some a sub and that? But for now, for now, I bought myself a little JBL Flip Five Bluetooth speaker. Now this thing's pretty good. I had it pretty loud in my house last night, so. This is my first option. It's also fully waterproof. It was, I think it was like supposed to be 120 quid and I got it for like 90, so that's good. And it is so loud, it is so loud. So the plan is, I've got my three Wi-Fi. Well, still having problems with that, but we'll talk about that in another video. So this will connect to the three Wi-Fi. My phone will connect to the three Wi-Fi and then I can literally hit play on my phone. It'll play through the projector. Hopefully it's as easy as that. And then the speaker links to the phone through my Bluetooth, which obviously automatically links. So then hopefully, I keep saying hopefully, that'll be enough. I can also like play music generally through this. So I think it's just handy to have, especially if you're in a van. Even if you're sitting outside, just run, run it through this. So we all know about Bluetooth speakers. So yeah, that's the speaker and that's the projector. 
third and finally, I suppose the next thing to talk about is the screen. So I had a bit of a measure up and the screen is gonna go at the front end, the bulkhead end of my van. Now this one has just got basically these little hangers from it. So all I was thinking about doing was hanging this off the ceiling so I can take it down. It's got a little carry case that come with it and I can just put it into one of these many cupboards that I have. So yeah, that's literally gonna go up like that. As you can see, it fits perfectly and it will pull down the front here and then you can sit down, chill out and watch a film or whatever you guys are into. I'm not judging. Um, so I can't remember how much this was. This wasn't a lot of money. I think it was like 25, 30 pound again off Amazon. Really good reviews. This is literally the first time I've opened it. So it might be crap, but it looks good. So it's like, a proper frame if you like instead of just a sheet that pulls down and feels really solid so let's get this mounted up first and then we'll work out how the projector is going to work yeah hopefully all good right the screen to be fair i've just noticed something about the screen which is quite good it's got feet on it and i thought originally when i bought this it was going to have hooks either side so it can actually if you wanted it to Obviously my cooker is not properly fixed down yet, so it's not actually in, but if you really wanted to, you could actually just have it set up like that. But instead, what I'm gonna do is stick a hook in the ceiling and hang it like that. Obviously, everything's a bit pissed at the minute. <laughs> so we'll work that out as we go. So what we'll do is this will sit up in there somewhere like so. And then I've got these hooks screw hooks, literally bang that in the ceiling. And uh, simple as that, hang the projector off it. Let's get it done. Screens in, <laughs> looks all right, didn't it? That'll be fine. So next job is, obviously I can just unhook this and put it away, which is great. So next job is to turn this bad boy on and see uh, how far from the screen it needs to be to work correctly. So, yeah, wish me luck. Okay, I've turned it on, let's kill some more lights. Here she is. Right, I've got to mess around with the focus and what have you, but distance wise, that actually looks pretty good. I'll get a better camera angle in a second, let me just uh, get it where it needs to be. Let's get this on the ceiling and get it adjusted up, shall we? Right, messing around with the distance, oh, messing around with the distance, it kind of looks like it was the best place was just behind this light fin. So I'm literally gonna stick this directly behind that light fin, mainly because it will look better than being off center, I think. So I'll stick it there, we'll stick the projector to it and then we'll get it set up. Right, that's stuck in. Let's get this thing stuck to it, shall we? Feels solid. There we go, look. Don't even hit my head on it. <laughs> right, let's get this turned on and set up. First thing we can do is rotate it. Hopefully, that will do it. Oh, no, it won't. No, we were on. There we go, we're the right way around. So I've got a, just about rigged up. I'm gonna put my, uh, I haven't got curtain yet for my van, so I'm gonna put this towel up against the window just to uh, make it a little bit clearer. But it's actually pretty good, considering I've got all the light coming through the window, this is like the home page of the screen. So I'll sit the towel up against the window and then we'll uh, we'll do some exploring. Right, I do apologize, I'll do a little bit of setting up, but we're there. So what I've done, because not many of you know this, but I actually use my phone to film these videos. So I can't find a decent enough camera that is uh, that is better than my phone because my phone's pretty good. So instead of linking my phone to it, what I've done, I've turned on the hotspot on my phone, linked the projector to the hotspot on my phone because my three Wi-Fi is rubbish. And then I've also, so the network is connected to my phone on the hotspot, as you can see. And 
what I've then done is connected the Bluetooth from the projector to the smart speaker, or the, the Bluetooth speaker. So hopefully now, if we play something through this, so you've obviously got, if you go back, you can see the main screen here, you've got Netflix, you've got Google, and you've got this AirPlay. So I'm hoping, it's like a, like a little mini PC. So what I'm hoping is we go through this, we can um, watch some videos, but let's see how we get on with it. <laughs> Naturally, straight to YouTube. And what are we gonna search on YouTube? B Jam Van. Because what else would you wanna watch? Let's see how good this is, shall we? I don't even, oh, there we go. I come up with a search. Let's see how good this is. B Jam Van, look at that legend. <laughs> right, here we go. Here goes nothing. <laughs> this is decent. This is all right. Right, let's see if we can adjust the focus up a bit. But that's for a projector. Also, my internet is not that great. So the quality of that is not gonna be that good because my phone Wi-Fi is rubbish. I live out in the middle of nowhere, but for this projector, look at that. Let's rewind, let's fast forward to the good bit, shall we? Here we go. Right, sick. Let's get you off this. Let's make ourselves comfortable and see how good this really is, shall we? I seem to set it up properly, but that was pretty easy to, to get going. Ah, all right, let's get comfortable and uh, hit play. Right, here we go. Moment of truth, play. Come on, circle of death. Oh, we all know this bit. This is fine. Let's put the wide angle on. So you can see. Here we go, look. That is decent. Sound quality is really good. Jetters up there, look, out of the way. This is good. What do you think? That is good quality. Cool. What do you think? A dragon! This is fine. BJ and Van, subscribe mofos, subscribe. Sick. So yeah, what do you reckon? Oh, I'm well chuffed with that. Well chuffed. Dean will be chuffed. I'm chuffed. I just need to twink. Basically, the only negatives I've found so far is obviously at the minute it's hanging on one anchor point. So if the van's pissed, as it usually is, then uh, the screen's pissed. So I've temporarily just bodged up with this with this Amazon box. And <laughs> another mistake I made uh, is like, I don't know how to explain this properly, but Obviously, the, the, the lens or whatever, the projector, is this side. And when I was lining up with the screen, it was on this side. So it's actually a little bit, a little bit pissed. But I can, I can, that's, that's little things I can sort out later on. So the short of it is, really, really good. Really happy with it. We'll find out, I guess, the more we use it, how good the battery life is. Should we put some lights on in there? Yeah, that's better. I can see now. I guess we'll do another review in a few weeks' time once we've used it. But 
It came in a really good carry case. I can charge it during the day. This screen folds down nicely and it's got a little case for it as well so it can be put away easy enough. This speaker is brilliant. So I think the whole setup probably cost me, like that was 30 quid, that was 90 quid, that was 200 quid. The little bracket was like seven or eight quid. So the whole thing has cost me like, what, 350, 400 quid? And it all folds away instead of having to buy a TV and uh, trying to fit it somewhere. And it's all wireless. It's all wireless. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my stupid little video. But I know you wanted to see, or some of you guys wanted to see a protective video, but it's nice to finally have some sort of entertainment in there. Next video is I'm going to sort the toilet out and I'm going to make this table thingy job. So this is obviously coming out and we're going to make a proper table that will fold down into a bed so this whole area can come into bed. That is next weekend's fun. So the week, the following week, Monday, next maybe next Monday, Tuesday, you'll have that video. So yeah, get this lockdown crap over and we can get out and have some more adventures. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.